All right, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Wade Scholes. I'm the simulation lab coordinator uh, here and also a respiratory therapist. Uh, mechanical ventilators have been in the news uh, a lot lately. So with the help of Vince, uh, our um, high fidelity mannequin, we're going to go over what a mechanical ventilator actually does and, and kind of um, uh, give you an idea of some of the things that, that we monitor uh, on COVID patients and how we care for them. Uh, so if uh, a patient comes in with us, uh, to us with uh, difficulty breathing, uh, we try to manage them and most patients can be managed with uh, oxygen, such as a nasal cannula or a simple mask. But a small percentage of the patients require more oxygen uh, than we can give them with a mask. So they need to be intubated. And the intubation is a procedure um, where an endotracheal tube like this one is placed into the patient's trachea or the windpipe. And then they're placed on a mechanical ventilator. And the patients are kept comfortable with medications. Uh, they're monitored very closely in a critical care room uh, with critical care nurses, uh, respiratory therapists, uh, and, and physicians close by. So what you're seeing here um, over there is similar to what you see on a um, critical care patient monitor. Um, so the top green number is heart rate. The blue is their oxygen saturation level. So the, all these, these things are monitored continuously. Then you have their blood pressure and their exhaled carbon dioxide showing on there as well. Um, when uh, patients are, once they're intubated, uh, they look similar to what you see uh, Vince has the tube in already. We would normally hook the ventilator circuit up here, but for today's demonstration, we have it on a test slow. Um, so um, mechanical ventilator, this is what you see here. We have two different types uh, of uh, critical care ventilators uh, that we're showing you. They're sophisticated, computer controlled machines and as such take um, highly skilled, trained uh, respiratory therapists to operate them. So there's been a lot of talk about how important mechanical ventilators are because they're essentially are breathing for patients that can't breathe on their own. Uh, and, but it's also equally important to have uh, trained, skilled medical providers, critical care nurses, respiratory therapists that know how to operate them. Um, so just to give you an idea of what you're seeing on the screen here, the, uh, the bottom row is the settings that the respiratory therapist can program in, and we adjust each individual setting uh, specific for that patient's need depending on the severity of their lung disease uh, and, and, the, um, and the type of lung disease they have. Um, so everything is customized individual for each patient. Uh, we, can, we can set their oxygen level all the way up to 100%. And that oxygen, what a ventilator does is deliver that oxygen under pressure. Um, so these waveforms that you're seeing in the middle of the screen is how we monitor how the ventilator is working. The top uh, one shows how much pressure it takes to deliver that breath to the patient. The middle one is the flow, how fast the air is going in and out. Uh, of the patient, and the bottom one is there, the volume, the volume of air that we're moving. And the numbers that you see on the right are all numbers that the ventilator monitors continuously. The patient's respiratory rate, the volume that we're giving, um, different pressures, and all of these numbers are also associated with alarms. So if there was any change in the patient's condition, the bedside caregivers would be notified immediately, and we can uh, respond and do appropriate interventions. Um, uh, one thing that the COVID-19 patients that we're seeing often have difficulty oxygenating. That's a, a big problem that we're seeing. Inside all of our lungs, uh, we have tiny little air sacs. They're so tiny, there's over 450 million of them in your lungs. They're called alveoli. And these alveoli can fill with fluid uh, during a patient that has COVID-19, and they also may collapse. So the, with the ventilator, we provide an increased baseline pressure along with the oxygen to keep those little alveoli from collapsing between breaths, and also the pressure gradient helps the oxygen diffuse through the little alveoli into the blood where it can be delivered to the rest of the body.